Yo, what's up guys? Quinton and Cyprien here. Hope you're doing well. We're in paradise, really. Yeah, unfortunately, the dream... <laughs> We're in, in paradise, but unfortunately, the dream was shorter than expected, as you've probably guessed from the last shot. We are super excited because we have an amazing news we want to share with you. So stay tuned. As Quinton said just before, we have this wonderful surprise, but no suspense. We've been working for a year on an e-shop dedicated to quality parts from e-dirt bikes. Without further ado, let's talk about the upgrades. So, what are the upgrades that we can do to these bikes? In the end, there are three main categories of upgrades. What I call the cheap ones, these are the ones that you can do straight after you've got the bike because they're cheap and they give you the most bang for your buck. Then you have the frame and cycle parts and last but not least, you have the power upgrades. So regarding the first ones, you can start by changing the grips. It costs nothing, but you will get grips that actually grip and that is a life changer on the bike. Then you can change the bars if you're a taller rider, like my brother, you will want to have some bars that place you in a better position. In addition to the bars, you can have a direct mount stem with a, with a good rise. This one is the one, even though I'm, I'm not tall, this one is the one I use riding on MX track. Then you will want to change your pegs because it might seem like nothing, but the stock pegs are super narrow. They don't have spikes that these ones have. And so if it's wet, you will definitely be having a really hard time staying on the bike. And that's kind of an issue. Your front disc can get a bigger rudder and change the brake pads. Without even changing your brakes, this will definitely um, improve the bike and the feel of your stock brakes. In addition to that, you can change your sprocket. And with a bigger sprocket, you will get way more torque out of your bike even if you don't touch the power and especially riding off-road this will this will allow you to have bigger acceleration and climb trees no uphill will ever defeat you with a bigger sprocket <laughs> on top of that you will want to change your tires stock tires are very lightweight but they lack grip and they're not robust enough for serious engine road also and this obviously depends on your weight if you feel that the rear shock is a bit too weak for you. You bottom up quite frequently. You can just change the coil and uh, you get a stiffer one and it will give you more support and improve the, the behavior of your, of your shock. So the last two upgrades I could think of in the cheap category is replacing your primary belt by your chain because the belt is really fragile, especially off-road if there's gravels, mud, etc. It could snap any time. Merde! Quentin? A belt snapping means you pushing your bike, which admittedly is not very fun. And uh, you could replace your bash guard because it will protect your mother. Especially if you do trial-like sections, you go over logs, uh, rocks, etc. Having a robust protection for your mother it's a good idea. Second category of upgrades, cycle and frame parts. The fork is the first one that comes to mind. This is really a game changer. The stock fork does a decent job, you might say, but you won't recognize your bike with a high-end fork. We have tested many forks, Orleans, Fox, Marzocchi, and this one is a Marzocchi Bomber 58, this one is a Fox 40, and they do an amazing job you won't even recognize your bike so even though the most shocking upgrade is the is the fork you can also upgrade the rear shock if you want to and you have a couple of options for that obviously we talked about brakes before now if even after uh 
a bigger rotor grade and improved high quality pads you still feel that you're lacking braking power which is kind of important let's settle on that you can upgrade your brakes high-end brakes will bring you three things the first one is braking power definitely in addition to that they won't fade as quickly as the stock ones and the third advantage is that you have um braking control it's not an on off feeling you can brake hard and brake slowly you can do a stoppy that's the point of high end brakes now a bike has to roll and wheels make it roll so we don't as you can see ride the same wheel size this is the one that i call the enduro set 21 inch front 18 rear the small one these are 19 inch like the stock ones but reinforced so now i can't say that one is better than the other they're just different this one is an enduro killer it rises the bike it gives you more clearance and it's especially good for taller riders because it makes the bike taller bigger if you will this one is the same size as the stock ones but they are more robust so they are firmer, more rigid, and they will give you a more accurate terrain feedback. They are the best if you ride mountain bike single tracks and on our MX tracks, they're pretty cool too because they give you a huge maneuverability. The bike is very nimble with these. So different things, different results, both are awesome and obviously the best. What do we do? We have two sets each and we change depending on the type of terrain and I mean, our state of mind now the last upgrade regarding the frame is the swing arm the stock swing arm especially if you ride hard and with a lot of power is very fragile it will um, break on the reinforcement bar and so this is uh, a swing arm we are currently developing it's almost finished we need a couple more wicks um, it improves again handling because you have a super precise feedback from the terrain it is way more rigid and i mean the bike feels like almost a full-size dirt bike last but not least power upgrades and there are two things batteries and controllers let's start with the battery you might be looking for a battery for two reasons power range or both if you're only looking for range you you will stick with 60 volts 60 volts means that you will be compatible with the stock controller and so you just change the battery it's plug and play you get more range and that's it this is a 60 volt battery it's taller it has more efficient cells and it has twice the energy that the stock battery packs now what's cool is as a 60 volt you can use it with the stock controller but it's also way more powerful so as long as you have the stock controller you just have more range but once you upgrade a controller, which you can do later, you will be able to uh, take advantage of the full power of the battery. And this bike runs a lot of range, a lot of capacity, and it runs at 12 kilowatts. This one is a 72 volts. It has an upgraded controller too, and it runs, I run it at 15 kilowatt. Power-wise, the stock bike is a, a 50 cc equivalent. This one is a 350 cc mind-blowing people see it like a toy and actually it's a rocket controller is the mandatory update that you need to do if you're looking for more power as its name implies a controller controls everything on your bike throttle management power delivery and engine brake do you want um free wheel like on a mountain bike do you want a two-stroke uh engine brake do you want a four-stroke engine brake and benefit from more regen and improve your range again you have different options but you definitely want to opt for your high-end controller to perfectly be able to fine-tune all the characteristics that will make your bike um, properly rideable now I won't talk too much about that because we are working on something mind-blowing that will come real soon so stay tuned hey I really wanted to thank you for being with us it means a lot you know, like most of you, uh, we ride out of passion. 
Um, writing is a great part of our lives and this is why after more than a year of hard work we are really proud to finally and officially announce that our website is live. It's called mto.bike, motorbike, you get it. We ship worldwide so wherever you are we can take care of you and um, everything we do we do out of passion and with the greatest attention to detail. From the parts we developed in-house to the ones um, we source, we have personally written, tested and approved everything. So rest assured that if we sell something, it means we would use it on our own bikes. On top of that, we really believe that this light electric dirt bike community is like a family. As passionate riders that we want to share our passion, this is the whole idea on which we have uh, built the website as part of a great family. We have put together the best fidelity and rewards program there is. I'm not going to talk any longer. Just head over to the website, http um, slash slash, you know the drill, uh, mto.bank. See you soon guys. Thank you.